Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about categorical data. So remember that's putting yourself into a group or a category name. And we're going to be talking about a type of descriptive statistic for it. So remember that's just describing the group. And specifically today we're going to be dealing with a graphical display, which is, you know what this is called? It's pretty obvious. It's a pie graph. Mm -hmm. So here, and if you saw my uh, video on bar graphs, it's still nicest fruit, but this time we have different slices of a pie representing the different categories for that categorical variable. Now with a pie graph, it's usually easier for you to be able to identify how large the pie is if it has labels on it. Now you you can have labels with frequencies. You can have labels with relative frequencies. These are frequencies. Remember, those are the count or how many individuals are in each group. But in my opinion, a more intuitive or easier way to read a pie graph is by having the percentages shown on the pies. It's a little bit more intuitive. You don't have to think to yourself, how big is five different from 40 if the whole thing is 145? It's just much more intuitive to read percentages. So if you're gonna represent values on a pie graph, in my opinion, percentages are the best. Now, sometimes it can become very messy if you include the actual label on it, but that's up to you. So a pie graph, very similar to a bar graph, it just shows you relative to the total how big the group is. And again, sometimes it can be more intuitive to read that with percentages. So you can see here that that biggest chunk is a blueberry representing 27.5%. Just helps you to get a good idea of how the groups compare to one another uh, given the total. So in future videos, we'll start looking at more categorical data and how to compare more variables instead of just the one. So far, we've looked at bar graphs and pie graphs and how those are used for one categorical variable. And in the future, we'll start talking about numeric summaries when we have more than one categorical variable. So I hope to see you again.